Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Today I'd like to talk about the socially divisive topic of changes to Cadbury's cream egg. The supposed attack upon the very fabric of British society by Nor. Now those of you not in the United Kingdom might not be familiar with the true scope of the changes made. Previously, Cadbury's cream eggs were sold in six packs. This year, they are being sold instead in five packs. Other pack sizes apparently haven't changed. In previous years, the chocolate shell was made from Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate, the supposed premium incarnation of Cadbury's milk chocolate. This year they are made from Cadbury's milk chocolate, the less premium but still supposedly good milk chocolate. Now, so two issues here, pack size and the change in chocolate. With regard to the pack size, I've been a member of a non-standard sized household for most of my produce buying life, so I'm very aware that the number of things that come in a pack can often be a little bit inconvenient and involve maths that you don't necessarily want to try and do while standing in a supermarket aisle. However, <coughs> Cadbury's cream eggs are available in ones and fives, so making a six pack is not that hard. So the question here is whether it's effectively a sneaky price rise. If someone had decided, well, let's sell the five pack for the same price as the six pack, that would clearly be a price rise. But the five pack is cheaper than the six pack. But so the question is whether there is a hidden price rise, whether a five pack plus a one adds up to more than a six pack, whether a fifth five pack adds up to more than a sixth of a six pack, in which case there would be a sneaky price rise. Now I haven't done the maths. I particularly haven't done the maths to work out what the rate of inflation would be since the last time Cadbury's cream eggs were sold prior to Easter 2014. So I don't actually know, but I would have some support for the argument if there were an attempt to increase the price more than was justified by inflation. But if it's just, it's gone from six to five, it's not really a huge issue in the scheme of things. Now, the issue of changing the chocolate is more complex and potentially more connected to social probity and cohesion than it might on the surface seem. Now, Nor, who bought out Cadbury's, have responded to the allegation that they've changed the chocolate by saying that they've never claimed when it was owned by Cadbury's or when it was owned by Nor that they were a dairy milk shell. So in previous years they might have used dairy milk but they never said they were going to. So you're getting Cad you are buy always buying a Cadbury's milk chocolate shell with a fondant center. And if the shell was made from a better chocolate than they had labeled the product as being, you have received effectively a free upgrade. And on the surface, that seems to be an argument that has some weight. However, is look to the doctrine of equity the legal concept that as well as supporting a strict framework that allows people to know what their rights are, that allows people to say we had an agreement so I can't be held to do things that are outside of the agreement without receiving an opportunity to negotiate something extra from the other party, 
<coughs> the law must also seek to ensure people act in a fair and decent manner. We must be more than just in the narrow sense, we must be just in the wider sense that the law is an engine of social cohesion and, to an extent, social responsibility. And specifically, estoppel. The concept that if you repeatedly hold something out to be true, or permit something to be done, and someone relies upon that, and you allow them to rely upon it in the expectation that it is the normal course of events, to suddenly change it and say, oh, you can no longer rely on this to be true, you can no longer be permitted to do this thing, because we never had a specific written contract is unfair. If someone has relied on a tacit representation to their detriment, they have some recourse to say, you are partially responsible for this, so by allowing me to believe it when you could have corrected me, you have effectively, even if we didn't agree it specifically, created a contract. And in this case, when you buy a Cadbury's cream egg, if the packet does not say it's a new recipe, you expect it to be like the Cadbury's cream eggs you have had in the past. So if the Cadbury's cream egg you bought in 2014 and 2013 and 2012 tasted a particular way because it was made with the premium dairy milk milk chocolate, if there is no label on the packet to say that it's made with a different chocolate now, it is fair and equitable for you to expect that it will taste the same as it did the last three years. It will be the same product as the last three years, even if it's in a different number in the pack. So there will be people who have bought a Cadbury's cream egg because they expect it to taste like what they think a Cadbury's cream egg tastes like. And so nor are being at best disingenuous and at worst unfair by claiming that the packaging doesn't say it's dairy milk, so you can't complain that it isn't, because they have not corrected the expectation that someone who has bought a Cadbury's cream egg for the last three years will have the same product this year as they did for those last three years. So it is up to Nor to show that they have discharged their duty. And in this, they are particularly burdened by the other equitable doctrine of balance of power, that the party with the greatest power has the greatest responsibility to state clearly all of the terms upon which they are relying. That a party in a weak position may rely on the fact that it is harder for them to negotiate changes to fully investigate consequences. And so, as the people who are in a position to say whether or not the product is the same, who are in a position to provide the product, nor are the ones who are responsible for indicating whether there are changes, rather than the consumer being responsible for checking to see whether it is the same product by searching out each year the full recipe, comparing the fine detail on the back of the packet to the fine detail on the back of a bar of dairy milk to see if the chocolate is exactly the same recipe. And so, whilst it is not the greatest of attacks on society, Nor's stance that the buyer 
can't complain because a benefit they were receiving for free has been taken away is not trivially an attack on the fabric of a fair and just society and so they should at least apologize and going forward make their packaging clearer well that's my uh, attack on big business over for the day so toodaloo